Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James and welcome to this, the next in your series of videos that we call Quick Tips. This is a viewer requested video from someone who wished to remain anonymous, but asks, what's the difference between a lift bag and a DSMB? What does what and which should you buy? And I get it, man, because there's one lift bag here and one SMB and they look the same. So we're gonna head over to the workbench and break down the differences. You guys make your next dive on our subscribe button and I promise I'll try and keep this video under five minutes. I've got three pieces here to show you. I have an SMB, a DSMB and a lift bag. Very different pieces, a lot of similarities, but specific individual usage. So let's start by looking at the differences between an SMB, surface marker buoy, and a DSMB, delayed surface marker buoy. First off, they both do the same job. They are to mark the position of something that is either on the surface or underwater. So they are a signaling device. Their intention is to alert boats of your presence. Now, a closed bag design like this which is a surface marker buoy, is designed to be inflated on the surface and on the surface only. So if you look at the bottom of that, it's closed, it is sealed all the way around the entire tube, and the only way to put air in or take air out is with this little oral inflation valve right here. So either before the dive you inflate it, you reel yourself down and you tow it along with you, or at the end of a dive, should you surface and find your boat not in your immediate vicinity, or if there's a lot of boat traffic around, you whip your SMB out, you inflate it on the surface, and it's nice and full. Now this cannot be deployed from underwater because what will happen is as the gas expands, there is no way for the overpressurization to be released. And what will happen is the bag will end up splitting, flooding and sinking and becoming completely useless. So this is for only using on the surface. Now, as opposed to that, a DSMB, delayed surface marker buoy, can be inflated the same way via oral inflation, or it has an open bottom, so you could take a second stage of a regulator, hold it under there and fill it just so. And you'll notice another feature of the DSMB is you have this overpressurization valve. So if you put too much gas in, as that gas starts to expand, as the DSMB makes its way to the surface, this OPV will pop and release any pressure that's built up inside the bag before the bag itself splits at the seams. So DSMB, SMB, both are used to mark the positions. Now, it may be the case that you are looking for a lost object, then you need to come back later to recover it, and you leave a marker buoy attached. It may be a case that you get an SMB out underwater and tie it to your anchor so it's easy to see from a long distance away. There are lots of things you can use a marker buoy to mark. It's not just about divers shooting a bag at the end of the dive and coming up and doing drift deco. A lift bag, on the other hand, is exactly that. It is a bag designed to lift an inanimate object. In other words, provide buoyancy. Neither of these two devices are buoyancy devices. This is a buoyancy device and it's pretty obvious when you look at the shape of it it's a lot rounder which means it's not as visible on the surface but also a lot more stable when bringing something up from depth this also has an overpressurization valve or rather a vent dump valve uh, so that as you come up and that gas starts to expand you can let little tiny controlled amounts of gas out and control the rate of ascent because whenever you use a lift bag you want to get the object that you're lifting neutrally buoyant and then swim it up, and as that gas starts to expand, then you want to start to vent gas out to keep it at a neutrally buoyant level. You never want it to become positively buoyant because then you're gonna have an out of controlled ascent. So, lifting inanimate objects, marking position in the water. Now back to the SMB for just a second, you're also gonna to wanna to consider the fact that an SMB has a lot more features for marking your position in the water, such as radar tape. This lift bag actually has a little bit of radar reflective tape on it, but that's not usual. This is a very fancy lift bag. Not all lift bags have that reflective tape on it. Um, it has the open bottom there, and obviously it is long and tall so that it can stand upright in the water column and be seen above the height of waves. So this happens to be a five foot bag. I think this one's five feet as well, but you can get DSMBs up to 10, 12 feet. 
and the size of the bag is really de going to depend about the height of the swell that you're diving in. If you've got a three foot bag and you're diving in six feet swells, you're not very visible. So you're going to want to go with something a little bit bigger. Okay, story time. Okay, so while I was preparing this quick tips video, the following anecdote was brought up from my memory. And uh, the only reason I can tell this story is because everyone in it except me is dead and there are only two people in this story but over two decades ago i was diving off the south coast of england with a local diving character and uh we were diving solo before it was cool from a rib in the english channel and to give you a kind of visual of this other diver that i was with i want you to imagine hagrid from harry potter so just a giant monster of a man hair in all different kinds of directions and the same same look same accent all right so we're taking in turns one man mans the boat the other one goes down does a dive and so on and we packed lunch and it was a beautiful day day out on the channel and everything was going really really well so it, it's hagrid's turn to go for a dive and he flops in his huge frame over the side and into the channel and just before he descends he looks at me and goes all right james 30 minutes and watch for my bag and down he goes I'm like, all right yeah no worries check my watch 30 minutes go by 40 minutes go by, no bag. Well, 50 minutes go by and I'm starting to get pretty worried. I'm like, oh my God, has the boat drifted? Am I in the right place? Start scanning the horizon, that kind of thing, you know? And then right next to the boat, a huge plume of bubbles erupts. I mean, a monstrous amount of bubbles, more than a free-flying regulator, and an insane amount of bubbles. And then as I stare into the murky froth, I start to make out kind of a crimson color and I immediately think, oh my God, he's exploded. Hagrid has exploded, you know. World War II mines are still washing up on the beaches of South England. And I think that daft bastard has swam into one, he's blown himself up and what do I do now? I, I don't have a plan for this, all right? So this sort of crimson color starts floating to the surface. And just as I'm starting to reach fever pitch with my panic level, uh, a bag breaks the surface and it happens to be a bright red Royal Mail mail carrier bag, the kind that a British postman would lug your daily delivery around in. And I just looked at this thing and I was just like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess that makes total sense. Fits perfectly with the character. And he'd sent his bag up using baling twine, the kind that we'd use to wrap a hay bale with. And I just thought, yeah, that's perfect. Next thing you know, his huge head breaks the surface. He looks straight at me, gives me a big grin and goes, I got you that time, James, didn't I? Yeah, you did, you lunatic. One star, would not recommend. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that helps you separate your DSMBs from your SMBs, from your lift bags, and clarifies that topic for you. If you haven't done so already, make your next dive on our subscribe button and hit that little thumb icon if you enjoyed it and if you learned something. And let us know in the comments below what other topics should we tackle here on Quick Tips. Until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.